River Suck, with its recurring winter floods, has broken many a farmer's heart in its time. But Ned Clower was determined that it wasn't going to get the better of him when, back in October 1977, he was given a grant of this 22-acre island which sits right at the middle of a fork in the river. Cloncoran is just one of several small islands on the Suck, and when the Land Commission was handing out some extra land in the locality, they gave it to Ned as an extension to his existing 40-acre holding. But the problem they were confronting him with was how to get any use out of the island because there was absolutely no way of getting into it. The Lohan, I couldn't uh, get into it, so the first thing I got was a boat, a small little boat, and uh, I tried to get my capital out in, in, in one winter, I think it was 70 years, and the boat capsized twice. I went to the bottom of the soak to pull me out of a rope. But I lost my hat, my hat was off <laughs> up Killaloo. <Kilo. laughs> so uh, the only thing there was a helicopter, but I couldn't afford that. Charlie Hot he might have been nice, but I was, couldn't get that, so I, I was in this. My only hope was to try to put a bridge in it. Is that so? And a bridge across the river Suck was exactly what Ned built, without any help from anybody except his family and friends. It took three summers of back-breaking work and cost about £15,000 at current prices. And so, when Ned got the idea earlier this week that he was going to do things in style and have his 120-foot-long bridge officially opened, almost the entire village of Carraray came along to wish him well and congratulate him on his enterprise. Roscommon Fianna Fáil TD, Terry Layden, was called in. So, too, was the local county councillor. And the village's 88-year-old War of Independence veteran turned out for the occasion. Congratulate Ned Cahar, his family, his friends and neighbours on this great achievement on the first ever private bridge over the river. So congratulations and I wish to declare officially opened. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. This is and everybody here. We'll take a walk across now, Ned. Let's see him. Yes. Let's we'll see him over. Okay. It's a little bit bridge Ned's Island cost him about £2,000 in payments to the Land Commission. But by building the bridge on his own without hanging around for anybody else to do it or waiting for grants or a drainage scheme, he has increased its value by at least tenfold and has become something of a South Ross Common folk hero. Well, this may not seem a great achievement from a national point of view with this bridge over the River Suck here today, but the fact is that for a man like Mr. Clower, a small farmer who got an extension of his land on an island, he was left with two choices, either to leave the island without farming it or to build a bridge. Now, if he had approached the Land Commission, who were not, were not prepared to do it, the County Council, who would take many, many years to do it, but he got it himself and his family and his friends and neighbours together and they built it. I think that's a great achievement and I think it warrants special attention and it's a, the only private enterprise bridge built over the River Suck, to my knowledge, and I think he has achieved something great here today. I done as good as I could anyway. I, I'm proud of it now. It's, it's, I had no other way to, to do it. 